Stanford University. Open Studio is basically when all our classes in the department have their work put up and the doors are thrown open for the public to view, enjoy, partake in, experience. One of my personal favorite things about today is that the students that are taking these classes are, come from a variety of fields. They come from product design, electrical engineering, history, CS, and they come together and they make really amazing things. This was Art Studio 163, Drawing with Code. I have like some CS background and some art background, but I never really thought of those two as like one thing. The computer really is just another instrument, it's just another tool that artists can use. If you just create a set of rules, you can create very complex systems that you never otherwise would have created by hand or on your own that you never would have dreamed of. And so this piece for me really comes from my interest in animation. And so it's a very time-based piece of work. It was kind of influenced when I originally proposed it by the flux capacitor from Back to the Future. I'm in a kinetic sculpture class, and in that class we basically try and make art that moves. I felt like it was the, at the intersection of engineering and art. The great thing about being in this class was that I was able to consult with lots of different people to get their suggestions and prototype lots of different solutions. I have 300 bouncy balls. You can fill it up as many as you want, but these go directly into the tube and they shoot up and they bounce all over the place. It's a lot of fun because it gets people moving, interacting. What I really like about the art classes is that your work's not just handed back to you for a grade, it's up for the public to see. Um, it's up for public response. And I think it also puts sort of artistic pressure on you to actually do well. That's what Open Studio means to me, is showing work that I'm proud of. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.